Welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. This is what we have here today. King Canada Flex Air. 20 gallon, five peak horsepower. Don't let that uh, fool you. A lot of people may think that's uh, five horsepower. No, it's not. Uh, the most... To my knowledge, roughly the most you will get out of a 110 volt uh, plug-in is going to be about two horsepower, one and a half to two horsepower. This here is five peak horsepower. That's a total different uh, way of calculating things than. But you know what? The uh, long story short. This five peak horsepower will come out to about 1.6 horsepower. Running continuous horsepower. So, that's the, uh, the specs. Oil lubricated, 125 PSI max, 115 PSI operating pressure, 20 gallon, uh, 7.4 CFM at 40, 5.7 CFM at 90, blah, blah 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 so that's what that is what you're going to get besides some styrofoam you don't need that upright you're going to get two racing tires two little knobs of rubber for your feet you're going to get two hex bolts that goes into the, the rod that goes to the tires and you're going to get some washers that you're going to put on there, like that. And that's going to screw into the piece here that goes into your tire. You're going to get a, a filter. Not a bad filter, by the way. Okay. You will need whatever size Allen wrench that is. I forget. You will need a... What is it? What is it? Five. Come on. Focus, baby. Five sixteenths. And I believe, I believe, five eighths. As well, you know, and a ratchet. So, so far what you do is you put in those locking screws in the handle. There's a hole in the handle that these will go through. And uh, when you strips it out and it all breaks, just go a little extra more. Oh, just joking. You don't need to over tighten these. It's just to keep the, the hand uh, in place. Oh, how come that one's going in? Not as far as this one. Anyway, anywho, then what you shall be doing is excuse me we shall put this rod the wheel the wheels go on the same side as the uh the handle it's going to go through those two holes if you can see them in the feet and these two holes if you can see that right there and there's one on the other side that well be bolted on with the X bolts. So, when we get that done, when we get that done, we shall be right back. So, when you 9 sixteenths, you'll tighten these up. Sorry guys, I should put you on the the uh, tripod I'm trying to get this done here so when you get these snugged up you don't need to go German on this you know all good and tight yes so when you get the feet 
put on. It uses 916ths uh, wrench or socket, whatever, and you get this put on. Your wheels. Now, next is we're going to take this plug off here. This is where your uh, your dinosaur juice, as Terrell fixes all, says. You're going to fill that up. Like the manual says, up until, you know, in the middle of that red eye. So, when we get that done, we shall be right back. So, we got the, uh, the oil in there. I like it just on the top. Then you're going to put in this, your cap. It's got a little breather hose in there so that it can breathe plastic. So, so now we need to put on the filter. It's not a bad filter. It's got that, you take the two pieces here and uh, there's a, a nice filter in there. Okay. You just screw that in. Like that. Nice and snug it up. That's done. And this, okay, filter's on, the feet is on, wheels are done, the handle's on, the oil's in. This air is. This here is in. So now, what we have to do is we have to. I'm going to open this and open the bottom. And we have to run it like that for 15 minutes. After that, we shall be right back. Stay tuned. That's 15 menu. So, 15 minutes. Now what we're going to do is uh, make sure it's uh, drained. It's co really cold here. So, I that's good. Anyways, what we're going to do now is we're going to see how long, I'll close the underneath and close that, and uh, we'll see how long it takes to fill this from completely like empty. Okay, so just let me do that and we'll get right back to it. So, completely empty, and... Just a second here. Uh oh. And we shall start.
45. So 445, four minutes and 45 seconds from completely empty to fill. Let me write that down. For, uh, for further uh, reference. Okay, guys. So, uh, what was it I said? 4.45 from empty. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let the hair out until it cuts in and stop. And see how long it takes for it to, from cut in to cut out. All right? And uh, let's see if I can. All right, so it'll be a few seconds off because by the time I hit my watch, you know what I mean? So that's from uh, cut in to cut out is one minute ten seconds. That's not bad. I mean, it cuts in at ninety, I think, and uh, cuts out at one twenty-five. So uh, so far, that's what we've done with this uh, particular model of uh, uh, compressor. Now, I, I'm going to see. Uh, okay, you know what? I'll stop it here, and when I test it a little bit. I'll come back, okay? Okay, guys. Uh, this is the oil change after letting it uh, break in. It's, uh, yeah, it's really uh, dirty and uh, even little metal flicks. So uh, I changed it. We don't say that in the manual. It just says after the first hour or something so five hours or whatever it is but I, I did change it because but they give you they give you enough for probably three uh, changes so this is very dirty so I'll just get rid of that use it for uh, cutting fluid I it seems to work pretty good for when I'm drilling metal it works pretty good so that's that now now it's uh, to test and see if it's any any good, which I don't really have a test right now. I'm not working on anything, but I'll run a, a ratchet. And I'll, well, a ratchet should be no problem, but a ratchet, impact wrench, um, and I'll see what it what it keeps at with the blow gun open or even the impact. I'll just keep it full throttle and let it all drain down to as much as it's going to drain and see how it keeps up. Okay, guys, be right back. Well, guys, one thing for sure, I just put, I went to put this uh, coupling on, this cutoff here, and uh, I didn't even get halfway, and it just snapped right in two. Piss me off. This is the second one I took back. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I don't know yet about how good it is. But uh, the first one, right here, these dog ears there where it goes to the head, two of them was broke off. The leg was bent. And, uh, yeah, so I took it back. Now this, well, at least everything else seems to be okay. And this here, well, uh, probably, it's nice to have a cutoff just the same. But uh, maybe I should just get rid of all this, this cheap, you know, cheap crap there. Water separator, blah, blah. That looks cheap anyway, but maybe I'll just, yeah, put a piece in. and uh, Anyway, onward. So, what I got to do is, for now, 
I'm going to put that uh, union in there, I guess, that fitting threads on both sides. Uh, so, now, now, where, where did I put that now? Oh, Tommy, you'd lose your head if you didn't have it screwed on. Oh, looking right at it. Good job it wasn't a snake. It would have bit me. All right. Now, I know some guys say, don't put the tape that comes with your compressor and stuff uh, on the threads. They say, oh, you don't need any tape on the threads and blah, blah on a compressor. But I've followed that logic before, and every time... You know, you tape down as tight before it's stripped. It leaks. But if you put tape on it, it seems like I've gotten years out of it without any, any leaks. So, who would have tunk it? Anyway, I, I know there's... Most everybody i seen put tape on their fittings. So, I'm going to put some little bit of tape on there. Screw that on there. You know, that's almost, it won't go out of way, but put a little tape on there. <sighs> the, the, the fitting that they give you, for some reason, uh, I could not get this to, to stop leaking. Um, and I, I cranked down so hard on that thing. Uh, you know, I... I tried, okay, let's not have any tape on it, you know. <laughs> and it was leaking, you know, leaking like a sieve, right? Like a, like a screen submarine. And then I put on some tape, and then I put on more tape, and I put on more tape. Still couldn't get it. So I had my own fitting here, so I put this on, and now uh, it's up to 90 PSI, and nothing no bubblers uh, no bubblito so should be good uh let me just check these ones that came with it here and see if there's any leaks there and you guessed it we'll be right back <sighs> okay Pick the impact and i hooked it up and i ran the impact until um, it stopped uh, decreasing in PSI. Drop and it stopped dropping at 45, uh, 40, well, I'll call it 45, but let's just say 40, 40 PSI. It was right, you know, just above, but um, my eyes is hard to read those little things, but I know 40, so 40 PSI, that's when it held its own at 40 PSI with impact. Um, how much you would be able to, uh, how much torque you would get out of an impact at 40, probably not much, but that's not bad, that's continuous, so I mean, and it took took quite some, long, you know, some time, like I'm thinking, oh, it probably took three minutes, four minutes, about three minutes anyway. Uh, to get to that point so usually you know I haven't had to have the impact for three minutes straight you know what I mean usually you give her some hugga duggas and if it's not coming off well you put some penetrating oil on it you know give her some more hugga duggas maybe 40 seconds or a minute maybe and then rinse and repeat so I've never had an impact where I needed, you know, four minutes of just continuous, right? Maybe you have, but, you know, uh, I haven't. But, uh, so it, I think it'll be fine. Uh, you know, with the, uh, with the four gallon, uh, not the, not that. Either one of them is four gallon. The other one, the Campbell and Osfield is better. Um, you know, I mean, you don't get very long, right? Um, if the lug nuts is not giving you any problems, as an example, 
um, they're torqued properly and they're not giving you any problems. 100 foot pounds, right? Uh, 110. I torqued mine too. It calls for 90, but 98. So I just put 110. Um, if there's no problems, I can get uh, two or three out of a four gallon tank before it kicks in. But with this one, I mean, you'd have no problem. You'd do all four and You'd do all four if they wouldn't give you any problems, and I don't even think it would kick in. Um, so that's good. You know, it's gravity fed. Uh, you know, it seemed to... I just put uh, um, water in it, actually, just to give me this, you know, it's so cold here. I didn't want to go uh, putting paint in and actually doing that type of test, so I put in... Uh, you know water i know water is very thin but I, I wasn't thinking about the material i could have just not used anything and just failed to trigger and seen what would happen at uh 30 35 psi at the gun i think it was about it calls for she she held no problem you'd be able to do you'd be able to do a quarter panel because you stop between coats anyway you'd be able to do a quarter panel no problem with this this compressor i feel unless something happens you know and it starts to slow to get worse and worse i don't know is this too short of a re it's not a review really right because i haven't done enough actual work to give a review i will once i'm i've used it quite a bit i will uh i just want to let you know what you're going to get in the package and you know, this here setup, this is cheap. It's got a hair separator down there, but, it, you know, in the future, I think I'm just going to take all this off and put a, a nicer one on there. Uh, it's pretty portable. It's 110 pounds, but it's balanced. It's balanced pretty good. Uh, the noise level, uh, I'll take a, a noise level rating. Uh, and put that pit, take it see if i can get a screenshot and put that in the video as well anyway uh, okay guys thanks a lot thanks for subscribing and stay safe